What are these people doing? Well, believe it or not, this is ham radio. Hi, I'm Gary Pierce, KN4AQ, and on this edition of ARVN, Amateur Radio Video News, we're going to take a look at a very special kind of fox hunting called ARDF, Amateur Radio Direction Finding. The 2006 ARDF U.S. Championship took place right here in Umstead Park in Raleigh, North Carolina back in April 2006. In Europe, though, hams and a lot of non-hams have been fox hunting on foot for decades. That's the sport they call ARDF. And it's a combination of direction finding and another sport called orienteering. Though I suppose I need to explain the sport of orienteering. You get a compass and a map, a very detailed map of something like this park that shows landmarks and terrain elevation and stuff. Somebody goes out and hides a few orange and white flags, or actually called controls, out in the woods, and they mark the locations on your map, and off you go. Ham radio makes it a little bit more difficult. With radio orienteering, the control flags are not marked on the map. You put a transmitter at each flag, and you have a receiver and a directional antenna, and off you go. It is Friday, April 8th, and event coordinator Charles Charlo, NZ0I, is heading off into the woods. Heading into the woods to place some uh, transmitters for practice. Got 27 people here uh, from all over the country looking to find some 2 meter transmitters tomorrow and some 80 meter transmitters on Sunday. So we're going to put a couple of each out today and let them get some practice with the actual transmitter transmitters they'll be hunting the next two days. It's just a, about a 50 foot length of wire and we need to get it at least 50 feet into a tree so we can have it fully extended vertically. The transmitters only put out a couple of watts into a rather inefficient antenna but it's okay because they only need to be heard from a couple miles away. The null is really sharp. It's the null. Now I'll we'll try the sense implement. That's the peak with the sense antenna. And that's the null. That's the sound of transmitter number five. When its minute is up, the start of transmitter number one will cue Brian and Harley to clock through the gate and run down the corridor, taking their first bearings and starting to decide which transmitter to head to first. And so it goes until all the contestants are on the course. Okay, so what we're hearing is a high pitch means the signal's strong. Yes. The low pitch is the signal's weak, but we'll hear several high pitches as you spin around. So yes. go ahead and show that. So clearly this is where the signal is strongest. We're, we're almost getting a null in the direction of the transmitter. Okay. But so the reflection is very strong now. <laughs> so you're really cheating because you know which way the transmitter <laughs> That's is. Right. So if you didn't know, you'd, you'd be thinking it's off that way, and in reality, it's kind of off that way. Did you see anybody waving funny antennas back there? Yeah. Many. We thought they were trying to get a special TV program. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Made our hair stand up. <laughs> On to transmitter number five. It was a long way from the starting line. Let's watch a few of them find the prize. Right here. Yeah. Boat. Okay. There you go and put, put your uh, thing there. There you go. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, just for me. I got I got three out of the four I was looking for. Um, got close to here and decided oh, I might go for the fourth one and then decided not to. This is great. Uh, I'm just so pleased that the weather, you know, this isn't actually bad running weather. A little run in the rain, this is fun. And I think everybody had a good time too. But that didn't mean they didn't complain a little. It was frustrating. I couldn't even get a good fix on the homing beat. I mean, it was just everywhere. Yeah. Well, the initial fix is from out of the chute. Just everything just said, everything's east, you know. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. The end of a long, hard, rewarding day. Here's the video guy. He survived. <laughs> Those guys worked harder than I did, but man, I'm tired. <laughs>